Let's film Alice on the sly. Look at her hard at work in the press office. Missing the missing the display up. Can't go wrong with a pineapple or a tussle. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm too worried about the floor. That's the problem. <laughs> Most bloggers don't actually work for press releases. Like we need something tangible, whether it may be a gifted item or an event or just something we can get our hands on. A lot of us want to create our own content and take our own pictures and we want to tell a story around a product. So I would just say, you know, first we get our names right. You know, sometimes I get Christabel, it's a Christabel. Um, you know, don't just send a blank email. Make sure you, you know, read the blog. Maybe you've followed us on social media and you're already interacting with us and get an idea of you. And in terms of bloggers, like if you read up on the blogger, so for example, I study knitwear design. So if you're a knitwear brand and you produce colourful knitwear, you know, it's worth getting in touch and saying, you know, I see you studied at Nottingham Trent, so did I. You know, here's um, some images. Maybe you'd like to start something up. You know, just offer something tangible and find the right blogger that you can sort of connect your story with. I think that's my fave too. A lot of attention to detail. Is that? Yeah, and then turn it to the right. Oh, and then really did, like, oh my god. And then turn it the other way. And then it should bring it out. <gasps> Oh. I just have to help it out. Oh. That was a kid. I right? cannot open this with one hand. <laughs> um, you have to have a pin because you're queen of no, pins. No, it's not. Oh, but you've got a little print. What? Oh, you've got Bramcon too. It's like a little congregation of bloggers. <laughs> I really like to talk. I don't think quite much with bloggers because we all know the market, so we're from Birmingham. We all know the market in Birmingham. with us at first? No, sorry. And now you're here. <laughs> Add me in at the end. I forgot to say, but I'm at, where am I? Oh, I'm at <laughs> It's been a long day, I can't remember where I am. And we, <laughs> we're the last stop today is Jacqueline's lovely, lovely son, Christabel's over there chatting with her. She does lots of cool, botanical inspired prints and she, she does patches, she does pins, she does everything basically. So yeah, it's, I feel like it's a good, it's a good place to end. And now I'm gonna go and ingest everything that I've seen today. Um, if you've never been to one of these kind of trade shows before, it's very, very tiring and there's a lot of people to chat to and a lot of things to ingest. But it's all good fun and very inspiring. Gabby's in the background taking pictures slyly. But Gabby's been our, our she's like our tour slash agent. She's like, oh, have you met Natasha? Oh, look, you should go and see this brand. Yes, I'm talking about you. She thinks shy now. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be 10 million vlogs of this. Yeah. Oh, look, my battery's dying. Yeah, before that. So my blog is still something that I really treasure and hold on to. And I think that you should always keep hold of your blog or start a blog if you don't have one yet. Your blog is the one to do. What did I do in October last year? Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen 
my YouTube channel. So I'm only going to talk about this once and very briefly because I know not many, not all of you will potentially be interested in this or believe in it, but I did a video recently about how I used the secret to get 100,000 subscribers. And um, I do believe that that was a moment where things started to change for me. It was a real positive attitude and belief. I will it's amazing. <laughs> in anyone. Yeah, and yeah. just started no, like, yes. oh my God. and it's working, honestly. Yeah, but well, that was, people say like, what's the moment when your channel yeah. changed? It was when I could use the secret yeah. to, um, to make it grow. You don't want your audience to be disappointed <coughs> because you've essentially tricked them using clickbait. But, there is a way of wording your video titles that will entice people, but not fool them. So I think that you just have to be quite clever when it comes to your titles. Obviously you want your title to lead people to actually watch your video, but you don't want them to watch it and then feel disappointed. <laughs> frames in a second gives you smooth movement. So 24 pictures of me doing that would leave my hand would move smoothly in the frame. Just to make things complicated, the power over here needs 25 in the Europe in the UK and Japan. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry this is going this is going to areas I didn't expect. Yay! Now, we're getting there, aren't we? Slowly but surely. I've got to be careful of I really don't like that shadow, so because I've got a really close one. But you can see, if you could lean forward and just like, I don't know, pick up a brush and pretend you're doing something deeply attractive. <laughs> to the camera, to the camera, look at the camera, because that's where we are. That's it. There we go. That alone, just by holding it, we've got the reassurance of the hand grip to it, is just going to make your video better. And when you're panning and moving, it just works. And it's a bit easy to work out what's in your shop on an iPad screen. Ross has just pointed out that I'm very on brand with my pen and trouser, if it focuses, coordination today. Thanks, Rosh. <laughs> so, good evening. We're here geeking out over some, oh, this lighting's terrible. We're here geeking out over some woodblock printing by Alan Kitchen, uh, with lovely papers by Fedrigoni. Yeah, we're like, here in the Fedrigoni studio, and I'm trying to figure out, for a competition, which um, stock, and wait, the the posters were printed on. What do you think it is, Natasha? I think I'm gonna go with 190. My my initial feeling was like a 210, but then I'm I mean, not mine sure. was initially 250. I went a bit high. It's, I knew that was too high. Too high. I mean, yeah, silly rush. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to watch my paper video. paper guess because we changed our minds. Yeah. Uh, what did I go for in the end? Do you went 230? <gasps> did I? Oh, no. Did you write 230? We don't even know I anymore. can't even remember but I don't think it's 190. No. It was between 110 and 130 definitely. Maybe it was like 220. <laughs> we just don't know anymore. We'll never know. Unless <laughs> I get it right. Hopefully you'll win. Then you'll know. Fingers crossed. Checking out some Clerkenwell Design Week things. I'm about to go meet Emma. And I'm late, and she's late, so it's fine. Where something gets hyped up to be really good, and then you get there 
and it's not that good. Big doesn't. Anyway, going to Woodblock with Emma and then an afternoon tea. Sounds good, right? Also, I should say you shouldn't vlog crossing the road. No. <laughs> So I just got home from Clerkenwell Design Week and yeah you saw all of the bits that I filmed. I loved like the workshops with Alex Booker and Anthony Burrell and what else? The Vitra Garden was really cool and there's always some nice little like stationary bits and bobs from Marby and Elb. But otherwise, I mean... <sighs> Clerkenwell's a hard one for me because it's very like interior design like sell this flooring kind of kind of vibe um, which you know that's not really my vibe um, and I mean even the installations this year they weren't really I, weren't, I just wasn't feeling it just not really feeling it um, but yeah always nice to see Emma anyway and the sun was shining and I got to wear my new shirt, so pros and cons. Just because I hold, I hold yeah. it with the right one, so you have to be outside. Hi! Hi! Today we're in Camden. Rosh is being my lovely photographer. And uh, yeah, just did some fashion yeah. pictures. That's scary. And they look great. It's her photography, it's all in all No, in it's all in this one's posing, obviously. No. She makes scarves look great. And insert some photos here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rush just got hit by a couple of Rush brought me to this lovely, lovely wall. Wall. Rush! Hi. Now we're gonna get milkshakes. Milkshake day. Milkshake day. <laughs> 